the salutations, you guys. It's Hayden here. Welcome to another episode of Thriftmas. I'm really excited because today we are at the Veterans Thrift here in Pomona. And I'm super excited to go into the store and see what we can find today. I wanted to do some last minute Christmas thrifting for thrift for Thriftmas for Christmas presents. Oh, Thriftmas presents. That sounds that sounds good, right? Um, and I wanted to see what they had. I was like right down the street, so it was really close. So I figured I'd drop by, and there's no line when I drove past the front. So that's exciting, and that's good news that there's no line to get inside. But if you guys love thrifting, thrift tells vlogs, home decor, and all that fun stuff, do not forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell button so you're notified when new videos do go up. And you're on Instagram. It's Hadrian. Just like it's spelled here, check out my shop. It's Hadrian.com to see whatever for sale from the Thrifting Adventures. And actually, I'm posting two videos every single day this whole month of December 2020. So there's a Thriftmas episode at 7 a.m. and a Vlogmas episode up at 11. So go check those out if you guys haven't seen them already. But let's go inside the store and see what we can find today. All right, let's head on inside. Mom actually just texted me to tell me to make orange chicken for dinner. So I gotta, I gotta be fast. All right, guys, looking through the handbags. They had some up at the front, but they were pretty expensive. They had like these Versace shoes that were really cool, like men's Versace shoes, but they were like 250. And they had a Gucci sweater, but it was 75. But um, the lady at the register was like busy, so I couldn't actually see them like up close. So I'll check them out in a little bit. But I wanted to go through here. Oh, look at this dooney. Little fabric dooney. Not in the, not in too bad a shape. $25 though. Hey guys, I just wanted to interrupt the video really quick and let you guys know that Depop is actually offering free shipping for orders $30 or more within the US right now. So since they're, they're having a free shipping, I wanted to do a sale. So it's gonna be 30% off everything in the shop. If items are not already marked down, Make sure to DM me and I'll have to manually discount the item for you, but everything in the shop should be 30% off right now. And again, free shipping for orders $30 or more within the US. And if you guys are international, unfortunately, um, there isn't free shipping, but I can still extend the 30% off to you guys as well. Just make sure to let me know what you're interested in and I can give you a shipping quote on your item. But yeah, back to the video. There's this Michael Kors, but it's 30. There's a Sunni and Burke, but there's some water stains on the leather. Um, another Dooney, but that's like an older style. Oh, this is a this is a Marc Jacobs, but there's lots of color loss all over. And they're asking ten bucks. Oh, and it's missing a stud. I was like, maybe we can like re dye it, but. The stud is not going to be easily replaced. Oh, how cute is this? This is a Target strap, I think. Let's see what else is here. Oh, they still have this bag. $40. Pleather, but it kind of looks like a Chloe. This is kind of a cute bag. I open it. There's this, um, oh, vintage Dooney, I think. Five dollars. Is this real or is it fake? Let's see. Fake, made in Korea. This coach has, or this Michael Kors has been here. Hmm. What is this? The handles are kind of busted. Christian Dior Paris? Oh. It's only $3, but it's... Is it fake? I'll look into this bag, but I also found this Mike Jacobs. This is only $7? This is a made in Italy bag. And these bags are like a thousand bucks. If you buy them at the store. There's a little tag made in Italy. Hot diggity dog. Guys, I think that this is like a new buck coach bag. Oh my gosh, Costa Rica. Yes, $10. These are so rare to find. 
It has like a little makeup stain right there. I think we can get that out. Maybe it just needs a little bit of a cleaning. Oh, I found a Michael Kors bag. This is only four bucks. What? I think this is um Michael Kors collection too. It has a little bit of discoloration on the back. But I think worth the four dollars. You guys, there's a, the North Face. It's like a scarf. I don't know, I'm kind of into that, maybe. There's Gudetama. This might be perfect for John. They have so many goodies. Look at that. Let's see what we have over here. Quicksilver. Oh, they still have that original Chanel bag. <laughs> This bag cracks me up every time I see it. I wonder if they still have that Fendi bag here. Let's see if there's anything cool. I gotta get going already. Oliver, Minecraft. Oh, this is one of those, um, can't even remember the name. Herschel. I wonder how much they're asking for. So this is 20 bucks. Don't really need that. Found some Jimmy Choo Espadrille. Those are pretty fancy. Some coach shoes. Puma. We got some AGLs. Woo. All these shoes want to come home with me. They're all jumping off. Uh, some Prada heels. Look at that for 20 doll hairs. You guys, how fabulous are these Uggs? They're a size 7 though. Uh, look at them. They're like an abominable snowman foot. But they're $30, I think. Got some Jimmy Choo heels. Look at these. Pretty cute. La Fenice something. Something something. Some Born. They have such fun shoes here. I just love to look through the shoes. Oh my gosh, look at those. These are something for sure. John Marco Lorenzi. Wow. Oh, look at this. Some Tory Birches for 20. These Badgley Mishka Butterfly Shoes are beyond cute. Those are very nice. I'm having so much fun looking through these shoes. I think I keep saying that, but this is like super fun just looking through them to see what they have. Clark. Found a Versace tie. Cute, a little Medusa's. And this one is a Valentino. Brand new too, it still has this little thing on it. This left, look at that sky, it is beautiful. Also, I got a ton of stuff, this is how much I got what I got. Hey guys, okay, so we are home now and I'm really excited to share what we ended up getting uh, from the Veterans Thrift. We got so much stuff and I was really excited to have gone today because I almost didn't go. I was like, ooh, I'm so busy. Am I going to have enough time? But then I was at the Target down the street and I was like, okay, you know what? We're just going to hop in really quick and check it out. And good thing I did because we found some amazing stuff. So let's start off with the haul now, shall we? Also, uh, a lot of most... Hopefully, I'll have all these items listed in the shop at the time you guys see this video. And I think everything that I bought is going to be going into the shop. So, if you see something, though, let me know if you don't see it in the shop. Um, or if we don't see the items in there. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try really hard to get them up by the time this video goes up. But I have no clue because it's Christmas, Christmas Eve, Kay's birthday, and all that stuff are happening literally all this week so i have no clue whether or not i'm gonna have enough time to do this but uh let me show you guys what we ended up getting so first things first i got this really cute unicorn bag it's adorable 
Um, it's not leather, it's um, pleather, but it's so stinking cute. I don't know who makes it. It doesn't have like any tags or anything, but um, it looks, I think it looks like the unicorn zipper coin pouch thing that Coach made. Like it looks very similar, but it's so stinking cute and I had to get it. It was five bucks. And yeah, plus like it looks like it looks like the Coach one, like Loewe makes these cute little ones too. And I have like this obsession with like the Loewe ones and I really want to collect all of them. And so far I only have one little elephant and I would love even more of them. So, but anyway, this is an ode to that. Super cute, really fun, very happy to have gotten it. So, ah, here's my receipt. I saved fourteen dollars and ninety-seven cents. I spent fifty-three dollars and eighty-six cents on all this stuff. Okay, then oh my gosh, I got um I got this Michael Kors little Safiano bucket bag and it's in white and then the inside is a navy. The interior is also Safiano. Okay, this bag, I think, is a Michael Kors collection bag. So, um, they have, like, the Michael by Michael Kors, and then there's Michael Kors, which is, like, the, I don't like, the more expensive, um, items, and this is from that collection. Really, really nice. Uh, I don't know if they maybe just didn't notice that was Michael Kors, but it was four dollars. So that was amazing. What a deal. There is a little bit of color stuff on the back. I'm hoping I can get it out. So Safiano I know is sometimes more forgiving with this type of stuff, but who knows the severity of the staining. So we'll see if I can get it out. But other than that, like I think everything else, like all the other marks and stuff on the back are more superficial. So we shall see. Maybe I'll make a video out of it if I have enough time, but I've been saying that a lot and not actually making the videos because I've been just super busy. Uh, but we will see. Like, comment down below if you really, really want to see the handbag rehab for this and how I end up cleaning it. Hopefully I can clean it. I'm not saying that I can. Everything's always kind of like up in the air with um, cleaning handbags. Okay, then... You guys, I got some like great stuff. Um, okay, then up next is... I got this vintage Ferragamo bag. It's in a new book. And then, like, it's like, it has like the Fendi, uh, Fendi, Ferragamo monogram on it. It's super cute. Um, there's a pocket here on the front. There's also a pocket here in the back. And then the top opens up. And then there's one, two. There's two interior pockets. There's a zipper pocket and then an open pocket. This bag was $15, and I think it's still in pretty great shape considering it's vintage, um, and it's just beautiful. It's like a great, great, like, fall bag, but it's like, but it's like brown. You can really use it anytime, right? But I love the new buck leather. It's really nice, and I love the, like, the Ferragamo monogram all over it, and that's super cool. Then, I also picked up this, um, Versace tie. I thought it was so fun with the Medusa heads and then the flowers all over it. Uh, there's a little Versace thing right there. This one was only $10. What a find. There was also, um, what brand was it? Oh, a Valentino. There was also a Valentino tie. I didn't get it, though, because the print wasn't, like, the most exciting. So, but, um, I also did see that, that was that one was, like, $7. But this Valentino, or this Versace one is so cute. I love, 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 love the print. So I had to get that. Oh, then I also did end up getting these, um, Prada shoes. I love them, like, they're, like, the, like, the ballet flat ones, but then they're, like, little heels. Like, a little two, I think, three-inch heel. Really cute. Um, just needs a little bit of a shoe rehab, but I think they have so much life left. And these are a size 39. Then, okay, this one was also a super exciting find. 
Um, this one is a Marc Jacobs shoulder bag. This one is a Marc Jacobs collection bag. So, Marc Jacobs, there's Marc by Marc, Marc Jacobs, Marc by Marc, for Marc by Marc, for Marc. I think that's what it's called. And then there's Marc Jacobs New York. Um, the Marc Jacobs collection bags um, were are all made in Italy. And they're just beautiful. This one just has like a little bit of um, damage right there. But I think I can like fix it up. Um, with a little bit of, like, glue or something. But this bag was only $7. And it was made in Italy. It's beautiful. This is lambskin leather. It's super soft. I love the quilting. There's a pocket in the back. And all that fun stuff. So, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Then, last but not least, this one was, like, the most exciting bag that I found. And I am, like over the moon about it um it is a little bit damaged in the handles though but i think like if i just like add some cool twillies to it or something like you really won't notice but plus like with the print you really can't see it especially like when you're holding it but um this is a vintage christian dior bag the print on it is like something else it's so cool um, again, there's also damage on the sides and the back, but it's just like such a cool piece and I feel like the print on it just takes away from all of the wear. Like you really can't like tell too much, um, but it's super cool. It's like the saddle bag. So each side opens up and this is actually a pocket. This one is actually also a pocket right there. You can store, you can actually like use it. Then this opens up like this. And then you have the interior of the bag that has so many pockets. It has like one, two, three, four open pockets, one zipper pocket. And the back of it is actually also another pocket. So, and this bag was only $3. I mean, it has a lot of wear. But it's so beautiful and has so much life left. And really, like, if you can just, like, overlook the handles. Again, I'm going to see how it looks with a twilly or something on it. Or if I can just, like, try to, like, mend it somehow. Um, but look at that. It's just a beautiful bag. Even if it's just, like, as a decorative piece. Like, I wouldn't mind just, like, having this bag, like, on display on a bookshelf. And, like, never actually using it. Because it's just so beautiful. The leather... It's gorgeous. Again, I love the print on it. And it's just really cool vintage Christian Dior bag. So, whew, that is going to end today's video. So much. I think, like, everything I bought was, like, designer. Except for that one, like, little unicorn bag. So, huge, huge designer haul. I love it. This Their store has just been giving me so many goodies that at the end of this year, like, I'm just so excited. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to say hi down below in the comments, especially if you guys are new to the channel. Welcome, so happy to have you guys here. And if you guys didn't know, I am doing Thrift Miss for the whole month. So I have posted 13 videos every single day for this whole month. Vlogs were, uh, I also did Vlogmas. So Vlogmas was up at 11 a.m. every day. And I think I'm going to try to carry the two video thing over into the next year for as long as I possibly can because it's been so much fun this whole month. So we're going to try doing that as well. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you guys have found anything really cool recently because I always love hearing about your finds as well. Tag me on Instagram if you guys decide to post anything up there as well. And again, all this stuff should hopefully be in the shop by the time you guys see this video. It's hadrian.com. Otherwise, if there's anything that you really, really like, just send me a DM on Instagram. But with that being said, I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys all in the next video. All right, bye!